a rather unusual World War II history. Most of the histories I've read for the Second World War are naturally based on a battle, campaign type of unit, piece of technology, that sort of thing. And of course, there's the books to deal with particular personalities. This, however, deals with not just North Africa, which you know, is typically covered, the various maneuvers of the Africa Corps, that sort of thing, but instead focuses on Casablanca. Yes, the film gets mentioned, although I'm actually surprised at how little it was mentioned. Instead, what we get here is a political as well as a mm, essentially a biographical history of the important people that moved through Casablanca from the invasion of France through the end of the war. Typically, this is focused on British and mostly American embassy officials, a couple of uh, refugees, and eventually, once we get to the meeting between Churchill, FDR, etc., followed by what happened to them after the war in a very brief sort of way. This is pretty nicely written. It's tightly focused. I actually complained about that in the last book I read, but this actually has more basis in um, in dealing with different uh, individuals. It's not just a handful. Um, I would have liked more about locals, in quotation marks. This is very much from the uh, administrator, French, British, American perspective, as opposed to getting down to what the locals thought. Uh, possibly that has to do with difficult, the difficulties in sourcing, that kind of thing. Uh, there's a lot of illustrations here. There's a couple of maps. The descriptions of the battle, once we actually do get to Torch, are well done. I liked this. I'm not sure how often I'm going to be rereading it, quite frankly. The fact that it is written uh, almost as scenes. There are over 60 chapters in the book, which does make the reading choppy. It does make it easy to pick up and, and put down, if that's more your style. I tend to be a, I'm reading for a good chunk at one go, so I found it somewhat distracting. Once we do get to, yes, mentioning the movie Casablanca, it's covered in an afterword of sorts, pointing out where it was historically accurate and where it wasn't. As perhaps not surprisingly, it wasn't terribly historically accurate. Uh, entertainingly enough, we do get a, a discussion of where um, Ricks would be located in comparison to the, uh, the airport. And no, it would not have been right at the airport. This is part of you know, my uh, books I like list because I liked it. I don't think I'll be reading it again time soon. It's probably a five year or, or out there. Um, I will look for more by the author though.